Mahjong is a game of skill with varying degrees of luck. If you want to make your game more about skill than luck, and you have a set at home, practice decision making with Charleston modeling. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. Let's do some Charleston modeling. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. For these exercises, we're going to say we're the dealer. So I'm going to get 14 random tiles. I'm going to make a mock Charleston. I call it a mock Charleston because it's just to simulate your incoming passes during the Charleston. It is not exactly like what you would experience in a game, but it's great practice. Okay, let's see what we can do with this random pull. Multiples. This is the strength of the hand right here. Anytime you have multiples, build around them. We could do something consecutive, or we might be able to do something with lucky 13 if we get a one crack or a three crack, and some flowers, of course. So I'm thinking either something consecutive. Let's hold on to the fives and the dragons. I think the dragons are very valuable. I think I'd rather discard these three and keep the dragons. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got an eight. Okay, we have a south, a one. Let's get rid of the east and one of the dragons. I really don't like passing white dragons. They're just as valuable as flowers, in my opinion. I think I do not want to get stuck with like numbers for the next pass. So if we break up these fives, we can have two good passes. One for this pass and one maybe for the next pass, depending on what we get. Let's go ahead and pass these three. So we have a three. If we're going to play Lucky 13, we really need, we needed that five dot that I passed. I should have gave up the five bam instead of the five dot. I still would like to leverage these fives though. Let's go ahead and pass these three right here. There's a five. We need a one and a three and flowers, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh, white dragon. Oh, goodness. Okay, we can pass these three just fine. Oh gosh, I saw that crack and I was hoping it was a three crack. Okay, let's pass these three, even odd. Either one of these are gonna be risky, whether we do consecutive or six, three, six. Let's just go ahead and pass these three. No, three crack or one crack. Oh, bummer. Okay, let's do an optional cross and pass these three. No keepers. Oh, where'd that come from? Did I forget about that? We need that. Okay, so we need flowers and a one crack and a three crack. We have five discards, including joker bait. So I would say lucky 13 in one suit. If you would have done something differently for this particular random pull, right? Random pull one and what you would have done differently. 
really, if we could get a one or a three, this would be much more comfortable. Right now, not so comfortable. We could call the eight and nobody would know what we're doing because we have the fives. We would just need to wait patiently for a one crack and a three crack. Big gap, but this would be leveraging these multiples. Another option would be to hold these and maybe try to collect five BAMs, discard those first, because we could always switch to like numbers with the five crack, the five BAM. Then of course, this would be the five BAM and we would need another flower, but that would be another way to go. And then we would use these as joker bait. <laughs> but I would rather wait for a one crack or a three crack that would be ideal. We would have, have to really use that joker here to help with flowers. This would be a long shot, I think, at this point until we get that one crack or three crack. Let's do another one. Okay, here we go. So we have no multiples and that's just fine. That happens all the time. You just wanna look at what your tiles are and find a category that uses as many of them as possible. In this case, I'm thinking two, four, six, eight. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's more than half. Well, it is half. So let's hold all the two, four, six, eight. We could hold the dragons. There is one two, four, six, eight hand that does use dragons. Let's hold these and discard one of each suit. There's a multiple, the two. So this will be the strength of the hand for now. Now here we have sevens. I'm wondering if we should maybe, let's see, two, four, four, six, eight, two. We do have all the twos and we do have dragons. We could maybe even play, maybe we should switch to the big year hand. Look at this, seven. Let's just force it. Why not? Let's have some fun. Let's switch to the big year hand, the last one under singles and pairs and throw these. Nope, no keepers. Let's discard these three. seven dot that's not helpful let's discard these three there's a red dragon and we have tiles we could pass seven nine we could maybe even play something consecutive with the eight let's throw these three one and seven Here's a 278. Let's throw those. White Dragon. Two BAM. So let's look at this real quick. 2017. I think I would stick with this. Let's pass one blind. I don't think there's anything in here for a year hand. So we have two discards for the year hand. 
if we were to play the big ear hand, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we played maybe the concealed ear hand, the last one under 2017, we would have eight. So I think what I would do here, I would hold all of these, hold these, discard these, and then see if this hand comes in. Hold dragons, try to get some flowers. We have five discards to play the biggest hand. Even if you start out with just a few tiles, it's amazing what you can gather during the Charleston. If you would have stuck with 2468, let me know. Did I make you cringe when I switched to that year category? Sometimes if it just feels right, you never know, it might work out. Let's do one more. Okay, here we go. Let's see what kind of kookiness I can do here. No multiples. North, south, dragons. Five, six, seven, nine. There's a little bit of a consecutive opportunity here. I think I would hold five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. Let's hold all those and give up a south right here. I think we're gonna get uh, some multiples of eventually, maybe. So we need to reassess. Five, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. I'm thinking we should switch to big odds with all these. We could maybe even do something with dragons. Let's discard these three. I hope nobody would ever pass a pair. So we got a three. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Flower, that's nice. Maybe we can use it. We don't have to pick a hand. We're just gathering five, seven, nine odds. We could probably get rid of this. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Exchange the joker. Okay, we've got tiles we can pass. Still don't have to pick a hand. Anytime you have discards, you don't have to pick a hand. Joker, discard. Okay, we got a one. So we have all odds. Now we have two tiles. This is when we have to pick a hand. Or decide on either one, three, five, or five, seven, nine. I think we should go with five, seven, nine, big odds because of this pair. We could maybe play the one, three, five at the very bottom, the concealed one, where we need a three dot and pungs on the end. We could get rid of these three just fine. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay. Now we have to make a choice. So with all these flowers here, we could play five, seven, nine Kongs with the pair of flowers, or we could play one, three, five. Let's, let's do one, three, five in the BAMs. We could use these as joker bait, let's say, and maybe get rid of these three 
I think giving this away would be better than giving that away. It's still a little bit risky. Let's do it. There's always a little bit of risk in the Charleston passing. So, no keepers. So I would say we have four discards with Joker bait. And I would, if I had to pick a hand, I would play the concealed hand. One, three, five, five, seven, nine, two suits with the single three and the single seven. If you would have done something differently with this one, let me know in the comment section. If you have a Mahjong set at home, get it out and give this exercise a try. Take some risk. See how it feels. It's a great way to desensitize yourself from the anxiety of making mistakes, which happen all the time. But you can recover from those mistakes during the pick and discard phase of the game. The Charleston is just the first half. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Modeling for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.